What's up everyone, Rob from Ishimoto. Today we're gonna to take an in-depth look at the making of our 2015 Plus Mustang GT induction hose. Hey guys, I'm Dan, one of the engineers at Mishimoto. For the design of the induction hose for the Mustang, uh, there was a corrugated section of hose on the uh, MAF side of the hose that we wanted to get rid of uh, to make for a smoother flow going through the hose. We also found that the MAF side was slightly larger than the throttle body side, so we tried to keep the inside diameter of the hose close to the MAF diameter all the way through the hose. Here is our factory hose off the GT, and then here is our uh, first prototype that we made. Um, uh, this one actually wound up being a silicone uh, prototype that we made in-house. With our silicone prototype, this is one where we 3D printed a buck or uh, the mold essentially that we wind up wrapping uh, the silicone around. Uh, the 3D printer takes probably about 30 or so hours to 3D print uh, a piece this size, but this gives us something that's you know, airtight, we can put right on the car, and we can test it in a matter of a couple of days. But as you can see on uh, this first prototype, we removed the resonator, um, and this is the one that uh, essentially lost some power. So after going through and figuring out what it was that uh, lost us some power, which was the uh, removal of the resonator, um, we took that extra volume, as you can see on this part, you have this uh, wider uh, size here versus your uh, round inlets and outlets. Um, and this was the extra added volume that was on that resonator uh, it put back into the tube where it fit in the car. Uh, and so this extra bit of space in here is what led us to that 15 horsepower gain. So from this one, we then wound up with our production unit. Uh, you can see it has the extra volume on the bottom of the hose to give us that extra power. Uh, the only difference from this prototype to this hose is that we've removed the sound generator port off of the production unit. Uh, we pulled the forms and we found that uh, there was a general interest to not have the sound generator on the car anymore, so we decided to remove it off of our design. That's about it for this episode of The Making Of. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to head over to our engineering blog that's constantly being updated with new technical articles on our upcoming products.